This right now is the anterior surface of the arm, while this would be the posterior surface. Because you can see the, arm, the uh, hand is facing upwards, which means this is anatomical position. So um, for the arm and the forearm as well, the anterior surface will be the flexor surface. So this is flexor side, and then again, this is the flexor side. The first muscle that you see here in the arm is the biceps brachii. It has these two heads um, that you can see uh, very well when you take off the deltoid muscle right here so it has this head and this head if you run down and see um so if you imagine this to be an anatomical position this would be the medial side this would be the lateral side so the side that is lateral is the one that has the long head so this is the long head right now so that's the long head and then this is the short head of the biceps brachii Underneath that would be the brachialis muscle, so with this right now is the brachialis muscle. It is a deeper muscle, so you're able to see it when uh, you take off the deltoid. So I will take off the deltoid right now. And so now you're able to see the brachialis muscle. So this is the brachialis muscle. Then at the posterior surface, so this is now the posterior surface, um, as you can see now, uh, this will be uh, the extensor side of the arm, and then this will be the extensor side of the forearm. So the muscle that you have at the posterior surface of the arm is this triceps brachii. The, uh, the triceps brachii uh, has three heads. So this one that is attached to your elbow, this is the lateral head of the triceps brachii. This right now is the long head of the triceps brachii, while this from the side, this is the small medial head of the triceps brachii. You can see it right here. And now also, um, if you uh, again see this in anatomical position, you'll see that this is the most medial because this is anatomical position, so this is the most medial. Uh, so again, for the triceps brachii, this is the medial head, and then this is the long head, and then this is the lateral head that's attached to your elbow. Again, this was the biceps muscle, I'm sorry, the brachialis muscle, and then this is the um, biceps brachii on the top. And the biceps brachii has the two heads, the one that is, so this is medial surface, this is lateral surface, so the one that is most lateral is this one, so the lateral is the long head, so this is the long head and then this is the short head. And you only have these three muscles that you're responsible for, for the arm. So let's look at the uh, forearm. Uh, the first thing we're going to start with is, again, the flexor surface or the anterior surface here. Um, so for the anterior surface, you have the few superficial muscles first, and then you go in for the deeper muscles. So for the superficial muscles, what you're going to do is, um, is see, imagine your medial epicondyle right here, and then what you're going to do is put your thumb on your medial epicondyle, and then you're going to fan out your fingers for, um, for the... Um, for the muscles. So this one, the very first one, will be the pronator teres muscle. And then next to that will be this flexor carpi radialis. You see where it goes to. And then the next one would be this palmaris longus muscle. This muscle will go towards your palm. And then after that, this will be the flexor carpi um, ulnaris on the ulnar side. Because remember, uh, this, is your, um, this is your thumb, so remember that the thumb is rad, so your um, radius is on the thumb side. So this will be pronator teres, again, from the medial epicondyle. They're gonna go P, F, P, F. So pronator teres, flexor, carpi, radialis, palmaris, longus, and then flexor, carpi, ulnaris. In between here, so around this palmaris longus, you can see this flexor digitorum superficialis, so this one right here. So that's the flexor digitorum superficialis. Um, when you take this out, in order to see the deeper muscles right here, um, you are going to see uh, these two muscles that you're responsible for. So remember that you had a flexor digitorum superficialis right here. So uh, you have a flexor digitorum profundus underneath. So this is flexor digitorum profundus. And um, you also have, have this other muscle, which is flexor pollicis longus. So this is flexor because it's on the flexor side, pollicis because it's going towards your thumb, and then pollicis longus. So you only uh, are responsible for two muscles on the flexor side um, that are deep. This is the flexor digitorum profundus, and then this is the um, flexor pollicis longus. And again, you have five superficial muscles. 
There is the pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and then flexor carpi ulnaris. And in between that, you have the flexor digitorum superficialis. And that covers everything for the anterior surface of the forearm or the flexor side. So let's move on to the extensor side. Okay, um, the extensor side is going to start from this muscle right here. So this muscle right here, you can see that it's moving on, uh, I mean, starting from this brachial region, brachial region in your arm, and then it's moving down towards your thumb. So it's starting from your brachial region right here, and then it's moving down, uh, down your uh, radius bone towards your thumb. So this muscle is the brachioradialis. This is the brachioradialis muscle. Next to that, you have these two muscles that are going towards your thumb again, um, or they are on the radial side of your, um, of your forearm. So this is the extensor carpi radialis longus, and this is the extensor carpi radialis brevis. So brachioradialis, and then extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Next to that, you have this muscle, which is going towards your digits. So that is the um, that is the extensor digitorum muscle. So this one is the extensor digitorum muscle right here. Next to that, you have this muscle, which is going towards your, um, which is by your ulna or going towards your pinky. Uh, and so this one is the extensor carpi ulnaris right here. So this is extensor carpi ulnaris. And then lastly, you have by your elbow, this really small muscle, which is the unconius muscle right here. So this is the unconius muscle. And that covers everything that you have for the extent superficial muscles of the extensor side. So uh, you can start over again. Remember, this is the brachioradialis muscle, brachioradialis. And then this one will be extensor carpi radialis longus. And then this is extensor carpi radialis brevis. And then this one coming down is the extensor digitorum. And this one is the extensor carpi um, ulnaris muscle. And then this right now is the anconius muscle right here. So the muscles that you have at the posterior surface of the forearm are all extensor muscles. And that should cover everything that you have for the superficial muscles. So let's look at what you have that are deep. There are two muscles that you need to know that are deep on the extensor side of the forearm. This first one is the supinator muscle, and then this underneath is the abductor pollicis longus, this one. So this is the abductor pollicis longer, abductor with a B. So you only, again, have just the two uh, deep muscles on the extensor side. This one is the supinator, and then this one is the abductor pollicis longus, and you can see that it's coming around towards your pollux there. The abductor pollicis longus, you can only see, um, you can also see um, from the superficial side. So if I put these muscles back in, uh, you're able to see this abductor coming down from here. So this is still the abductor pollicis longus. And that is everything for the forearm extensor surface.